Hello, and welcome to the February installment of Construction Junction, presented to you by MSU Infrastructure Planning and Facilities. If you have any comments or questions concerning this presentation, or have suggestions on how we might improve, please let us know via the feedback box on the Construction Junction webpage located at the address on the screen. The agenda for the February presentation will begin with updates on which projects are going to the next two Board of Trustees meetings. There will then be information on the campus snow plan. We will then have new project presentations. And lastly, we will have updates on various ongoing projects. Beginning with the February BOT meeting, the projects going to the board will be, for Step 2, Authorization to Proceed, Dairy Research Complex Electrical Distribution, Campus Water Systems Improvements, and Replacement of Windows in the Biochemistry Building. And for Step 3, Bid and Contract Award, Communication Arts and Sciences Roof Replacement. Moving on to the April BOT meeting, the projects going to the board will include, for Step 2, Authorization to Proceed, All Seasons Rink Construct Original Building, Service Road Field Building Construction, Demonstration Hall Multi-Use Court Floor Alterations, IM Sports West Indoor Turf Service Replacement, IM Sports East Renovations, Science Technology Engineering and Mathematics Construct Original Building, and Food Science Fruit and Vegetable Laboratory Renovation. And for Step 3, Bid and Contract Award, Olin Health Center Student Health. We begin this month's presentation with an overview of the campus snow plan. We all know that Michigan winters can be unpredictable, and so when conditions warrant, we ask that you practice good snow safety by giving yourself extra time to travel to work, driving carefully, dressing warmly, wearing sensible shoes with good traction, being extra aware of where you are walking and the condition of your path, shortening the length of your stride, and remembering to check the forecast before heading outside. For your safety, please remember to not dart in front of or behind snow removal equipment. It is large, loud, and difficult to stop quickly. And please make eye contact with snow removal equipment operators before crossing in front of them. The university uses a combination of brine and ice melt compound to combat icy conditions. Brine works by preventing adhesion of snow to hard surfaces, while ice melt is used on ice that has already formed. Often both are used in combination to speed the time it takes for the melting compound to take effect. If you see any icy spots on campus, please report them by calling contact MSU at 355-1855. Please remember, it does take time for ice melt compound to take effect. We ask that the campus community partner with IPF crews to help ensure everyone's safety by applying ice melt compound to areas outside of building entrances if they see slick spots. This helps avoid incidents until our crews have had a chance to clear the area. There are marked buckets of ice melt compound available at all entrances for this purpose. However, we also ask that you please be judicious with your use of ice melt in order to minimize the environmental impacts. Please do not park so close to sidewalks that your vehicle's bumper hangs over it. This makes clearing the sidewalk with our motorized equipment impossible. We also ask that you avoid parking in sections of lot that have not yet been cleared. Either parking in already cleared areas or waiting for our crews to finish clearing the lot before parking. We remind everyone that parking is prohibited in residence hall loops from 2 to 6 a.m. Our crews have a formidable task ahead of them after a snow event and keeping those areas free from vehicles helps removal efforts go more smoothly and quickly. Again, if you see icy or dangerous spots on campus, please report them to contact MSU at 355-1855. For more information about MSU snow removal plans, visit ipf.msu.edu. There you can find information on snow and ice removal services, as well as our environmentally green efforts. We thank you for helping us keep MSU safe during the upcoming winter season. We begin new project presentations with the planned Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics facility. The proposed site for this project is the current location of the decommissioned Shaw Lane Power Plant near the intersection of Shaw Lane and Red Cedar Road. This project is necessary as enrollment in STEM-related courses has increased steadily over the past 10 years and is anticipated to continue. More than a third of MSU's teaching and research labs are in facilities that are over 40 years old. Capital investment in new facilities is needed 
for MSU to successfully plan for the future and solidify our place among the world's premier research and teaching institutions. The goals of the project are to facilitate recruitment and retention of students and researchers by becoming a focal point for undergraduate lab instruction and to provide facilities that include informal study areas, breakout zones, and associated support spaces. The scope of the project will evolve as various stages of planning progress. Impacts to the campus community will include increased construction traffic in the area, temporary utility shutdowns to install and connect systems, and temporary traffic and pedestrian detours as needed. Construction is scheduled to begin this August and will conclude sometime in the fall of 2020. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the STEM facility project can be directed to the construction representative, Ken Goschalk. Next is the project to renovate the Food Science Fruit and Vegetable Laboratory. Food Science is located in the Central Academic District. This project is necessary to increase the training capacity of the fruit and vegetable lab in response to industry trends. The goals of the project include creation of a modern teaching, learning, and research space that will keep pace with industry demands, increasing opportunities for partnership with selected community colleges across the state, service to over 700 undergraduate students annually, and to provide facilities to process fruits and vegetables for retail sale. The scope of the project will involve renovations to Suite 124 to include new entrance and workflow enhancements, upgraded HVAC systems, new walk-in coolers and freezers, new locker and conference rooms, interactive classroom space, utilities for lab equipment, updates to the fire alarm system and access controls, and epoxy coating of walls and floors. Impacts to building occupants will include noise, dust, and vibration typical of a project of this type, relocation of the basement vivarium to Clinical Center C in March of 2018 for the duration of construction, impact to adjacent first and basement floor areas during flooring demolition, and possible impacts to parking in the north parking lot. Construction is scheduled to begin this May with anticipated completion by January of 2019. Here you see the first floor plan of the facility highlighting the areas that will be impacted by the project and the layout of equipment in the renovated space. Here you see some photos of comparable facilities at the University of Illinois. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Fruit Science Lab renovation project can be directed to the project representative, Brian Anderson. We now begin our construction updates with the project to extend Wilson Road. This project is located in the Eastern Residential District. There are two town hall meetings planned on Friday, February 16th for campus and community members to get further information about the project and its potential impacts. The first will be held at 1.30 p.m. in room E105 at Fee Hall. The second will be held at 4 p.m. at River Terrace Church, which is just across Hagedorn Road from Fee Hall. The following slides will highlight the impacts to the project site as time progresses over the spring and summer months. The first shows the areas impacted from March 5th to March 15th. The impacts during the time period from March 16th through April 30th. The impacts during the time period from May 1st to the 18th. Impacts during the period May 19 through June 19. Impacts from June 20th to July 5th. The period from July 6th through August 15th. And finally, during the final phases of the project from August 16th through mid-November. Here you see an overall aerial view of the project site with renderings of how the area will appear after construction is complete. As a result of the Wilson Road extension, the current north and south leg of Wilson Road will be renamed to Conrad Road. There will also be several street address changes as a result of the project, which are listed here. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Wilson Road Extension Project can be directed to the project representative, 
Dave Wilbur. Next is an update on the Interdisciplinary Science and Technology Building Construction Project. This project is located in the South Academic District. Accomplishments during the month of January included receipt and installation of mechanical equipment in the penthouse, commencement of stud wall installation on the first floor, and completion of spray-on fireproofing. Impacts to the campus community during February will include continued heavy construction traffic on Service Road. Here is a shot of the progress on some of the interior masonry walls. The commencement of curtain wall framing, the progress on fireproofing and stud wall installation, the installation of mechanical equipment in the penthouse, and preparation for installation of ductwork. For those of you who would like to follow the progress of construction on this project, please check out the live webcam site at the address on the screen. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the ISTEC building project can be directed to the construction representative, Carol Cool. Next, we have an update on the Business College Complex Edition. The Business College Complex is located in the Central Academic District. Accomplishments during the month of January included 75% completion of steel erection and the commencement of floor deck pouring on the western section of the facility. Impacts to the campus community during February will include the continued closure of the sidewalks traveling north and south between Shaw Hall and the Business College Complex. Here you see the beginning of steel erection on the eastern section, the preparation work for the concrete pour on the ground floor of the western section, and the completed pour of the first floor deck on the western section. Here is the site logistics plan showing the areas of construction and pedestrian and traffic impacts. For those of you who would like to follow the progress of construction on this project, please check out the live webcam site at the address on the screen. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Business College Complex Edition can be directed to the construction representative, Tony Rhodes. Next, we have an update on the Food Processing Innovation Center project. This project is located off campus on Hewlett Road. Accomplishments during the month of January included completion of building construction and the arrival of owner equipment. There are no additional impacts expected in February. Here is a view of the completed large conference and training room. Installation of the spiral oven in the large process room. This oven provides for continuous and uniform baking of a high volume of materials utilizing a conveyor belt system. And installation of the spiral freezer in the packaging room, which works in a similar way to the spiral oven. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Food Processing Innovation Center project can be directed to the construction representative, Tony Rhodes. Lastly, we have an update on the project to add an addition to the Engineering Research Complex. The Engineering Research Complex is located in the South Academic District. Accomplishments during the month of January included completion of exterior brick installation, progress on installation of mechanical piping and electrical distribution systems, and painting of interior building steel. Impacts to the campus community during February will include continued construction traffic along the east side of the building. Here is a shot of the completed exterior brickwork, the installed heating units, progress on installation of mechanical piping systems, electrical system component installation, and the painting of interior steel components. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Engineering Research Complex Edition can be directed to the construction representative, Ken Gottschalk. This concludes the February Construction Junction presentation. We encourage you to visit the Infrastructure Planning and Facilities website at www.ipf.msu.edu. There you will find information on construction and maintenance alerts, detour information, construction junction information, project and contact information. There are also a number of other IPF resources available, including listservs that you can subscribe to to keep up to date with various IPF projects and events. Stay connected with IPF via social media. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Watch our videos on YouTube. And follow us on Instagram. 
construction junction presentations will be made available on the CJ website around the 7th of each month. We thank you for taking the time to check us out, and we hope you'll visit again.